Yo, what is good, guys? So Nav just released his album. Uh, good intentions. Contrary to what a lot of people think, I actually like Nav. And I think his beat selection's so good. But that could be because he produces as well. So today's video, I'm going to be doing my interpretation of a beat for Nav. So yeah, before we get into the video, please subscribe if you are not already. And follow me on social medias. Links will be in the description. And yeah, let's go. So I've already pre-done like pre pre-done. So I've already like pre-done the melody. I kind of like doing it like this because then I can explain it to you all, like my whole thought process after instead of just sitting in silence. Yeah, I'm just gonna go through it now. For some reason, the analog lab preset isn't loading. So I'm just gonna open up an FL keys. So basically I started at a lot slower BPM than this. I started at like 160 something, I think. And I literally just laid down uh, this pattern first of all. So yeah, you see how like simple that is. And I duplicated it over and literally just copy and pasted the same melody. I use like two sort of pads. Next, I added a harp from Contact. As you'll know, one of the Nav songs uses like a harp to just like accent the like up and down. I, I always, I thought it sounded kind of cool. So I added like something similar. And you'll notice the background layer. I added some like half time and just lowered it a little bit. But I'd like some sort of like counter melody or more like low end texture. Then I added some uh, vocal chop. I had to put auto tune on them because vocal runs sort of like can hit any note. Next, I added, I don't even know what the hell this is. Some sort of like bell, I think. Then I just rendered them all out in like a pattern like this. Sort of pitched it about, added some detune and stuff. Ended up speeding it up quite a ton. Now it sounds like this. As you can see, absolutely brilliant. <laughs> I'm going to pitch it up a couple more, I think, and slow it down. So yeah, now I'm just going to get on with the drums. So I'll throw a soft clipper on the master and an EQ and boost the high as a touch. I'm going to start with a clap. Simple two-step for now. Add a 808 now, then add a wheezy one and just boost it. And yeah, as I always do, lay down the 808 pattern, then put it all in the correct key. So I'm happy with that. So I went for a pretty simple pattern, it just sounds like this. Yeah, just real simple. Gonna add some snares. Uh, Wheezy added these like snare rolls, like in the song, in the beat he produced. So I'm gonna try and add something similar. So something like that. It's like sort of offbeat, it's like kind of catchy though. Yeah. I don't want to overcomplicate this beat, I'm just going to try and keep it dead simple after this. I'm 
happy with how that sounds. Gonna add an open hat just on the one. I've added that one on the one just because like this. I'm have this sugar one. Like that. Add some rolls to the hats and then I'm pretty much done with the drums, I think. simple like that all l to connect them and all r to randomize the velocities of touch and pull them up and pull these down sound like i was putting in a gta cheat code then so now i'm just going to send all these drums for mixing so i just mix the drums super simple just a couple of eqs and stuff now I'm just going to arrange the track. So Nav uses like a ton of sub basses, so I'm just going to go grab a sub bass real quick. So I've gone for this Metro Boomin style bass, um, just following the notes. Just at the 808. Um, yeah, I'm just going to use it for like the intro and stuff and like beat breakdowns and stuff like that. So the beat layout's pretty simple. Um, I have the intro here with nothing playing. The verse, where the drums just build up. Then the um, like sort of break in the verse. And then like the chorus or bridge sort of part where I just have the sub bass and I bring a hat to bring some more tension in before the drop to the verse. Which then goes to... Which then drops back into... And then that just totally repeats over and then just an outro. So that is how I will go about making a beat for Nav. So if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Follow me on social medias, links will be in the description. Let me know if you like these style videos where I cook up like the melody ahead of time or whether you like to see me like do it on the spot. What? And I'll catch you in the next video.